Hello, this is Kirsten Craig Carrion back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking and showing uh, blending and coral painter. Um, here you can see I have an orange and blue paint on the canvas. The blending tools seem to average out the colors on each side. So it'll try to give you a even color of orange and blue and mix it together. To reach the blending tools, just find your brushes area and search for the blending. There's a lot of different types of blending tools in this program. I typically stick with the Just Add Water. To get a nice and smooth transition, you're gonna have to keep working with it. it can be a, It could be a pain because sometimes it'll pull some of the other color into the opposite color. So you just got to keep working with it, smudging it, smoothing it, and you'll eventually get it. Don't be afraid to use this tool. It's here, so you should be able to use it. For efficiency, if you have everything on the same layer, make sure you save or back up your file. Because once you start smudging, you won't be able to go back if you go too far in. In this entire demonstration, I'm only using blenders. I'm not adding any color. I pre-applied the colors before and now I'm just using the blenders to blend them together. You can see in the video how I pull the colors into the other. You could literally pull the color and expand the color with the blender. It's sort of like working with wet paint and oils or even water. Except with this it's digital and there's no messy cleanup. I lied. I actually did add a little bit of white highlight to the circle there or the sphere to actually complete the values. I could have added a little bit more darker on the bottom uh, value there under the sphere. So what would I use this for? I would use it for, it's good for skin. Skin's really soft and it, it could be uh, blended. If you need something with a little bit more texture, there are options for texture blenders. I just don't show them in this video, but you can play around with all of the different brushes and see what they do. You can see I just keep building it up. I keep working, keeps trying to smooth out the colors and blending and them into each other. Another thing at note is you can blend beyond the edges of the color where the color meets the white or the background. Uh, you can blend beyond that. Now that could be troublesome if you want to keep it within a certain uh, range. To keep the blending within the boundaries of the color, you can use Preserve Transparency, and that's on the top of your Layers tab. It has a checkered pattern with a little lock on the top of that. That'll help you keep your, your uh, blending within the range. It won't go off into the white uh, background or anything. You could also use the lasso tool. Uh, to me that's a little bit more of a headache but you can use that also. At this part you can see how I pull some of the red into the purple. You can shape it any way you like and just continue to smooth it out and get a nice transition. This tool is great. It could really speed up your painting process instead of trying to blend the colors manually. I know I have this bad habit when I discover a new tool, I want to use it everywhere. And sometimes that can be harmful. So with this, you can your art can come out relatively blurry if you use it way too much and have no hard edges. I always find it a little easier to achieve blurriness over texture. So this is actually easier to do than trying to create a bunch of detailed texture. Disorganization and chaos is always a lot more difficult, it seems, when it comes to computer software, where it's a lot easier to do it by hand. I hope anyone who's watched this has enjoyed it. Um, come back for another video, like and subscribe if you enjoy it, and I'll be back with another video. Thank you.